Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the Marmoset, and welcome back to City Skylines. While we were tiddling around last episode, building that little park area, we basically accrued a last lot of cash. So what I want to do is experiment with some of the new features we've got in the latest update, which includes... Canals! You can build canals. So what I want to do is build a kind of high-density canal kind of district. Now, before I do that, what we're going to be doing is taking the road that is the, the heart of the Turtle Tourist Trap, and we're going to be extending it all the way around to here and building a new junction because I want to first and foremost well I think the other thing we should be doing is probably moving these guys because these piers are a bit ridiculous as nice as they are and they are getting I don't know some visitors I think perhaps this is an area we could probably tidy up and just let normal commercial developments build their cliffside ways along and then perhaps look at moving these guys in somewhere else so first off we are going to be extending our road Probably will involve demolishing some houses along the way, but let's grab our expensive two-lane road and let's get our curve on. We can go all the way out to here. No, not quite. So we need to come out to about there. I'm trying to trace see if I can get it down onto the beach. Apparently it appears to decide it wants to dip down that way. I don't know, add some... Let's do some deleting. Pause the game while we're at it. Let's see if I can't... Let's just go flat straight, I don't know. No, too far. I want this. You're always just going to make me a cliff, aren't you? It's always going to be a cliffside road. Okay, fine. A cliffside road it is. Let's grab freeform tool. Come out to about there. Pretty damn sure we're not going to get much of a beachfront. <laughs> I just wonder if I grab just a little road and do it that way. <laughs> yeah, it still does it. I wonder. Let's turn that all the way down to the very smallest elevation step. See, so, you now that apparently causes me less of a problem. Yes, I know, I'm wasting a lot of money, but we've got money to waste. Oh, you notice we've got these angles coming in? This is the beauty of precision engineering, which is the new mod. It's telling me some twists and how far I've gone and all the rest of it, so yeah. Oh, I really kind of like some kind of beach at all. I need to remember to plug that power line back in. I wonder if I stick a road in. No. This is going to be an exercise in frustration, this, isn't it? Absolutely determined not to be too steep. So the problem with this beach, I think, is ultimately that it's just a bit too steep. And there's not much I can really do about it. Which is a shame, because it's kind of a nice beach, but it looks like it's just going to be a roadside cliffside. I'll try and make more of an effort over here and leave the road a bit further away. Yeah. So we actually have something of a beach side on there, but yes. Um, I just wonder. If we get the smallest road. No, it is absolutely determined that I should have a high, high-sided road along here. All right. Well, enough faffing and dilly-dallying. Let's try to avoid having too much kink in my road. Get as much real estate as we can. 
Okay, let us arc round to about there. We will start building our roundabout. Which I think will probably make an elevated one. So we'll pitch up. Ten units by twenty. So there's ten units. I've gone up the screen. No, move down. Ten units. By ninety. <laughs> That's about as round as a I don't know. Jared Bella. No, it's all gone wrong. It's all gone horribly wrong. Let's start from here. We'll go out to ten units. We'll go not nearly as far as I want to, because you know. I didn't start far enough away! Start in the middle. Start in the middle, so I know that I've got the space I need, so I'm not occluding this. So yeah, it doesn't make much difference which way I go from here. 10 by 10 at 90 degrees. 10. Yeah, can't go in 10 in there. Ten. Control. Two hundred five. Delete that bit. That'll do. That will do. Let's just double check that that is all the right type. Yep. Put that into there. Right, let's start stalk slip roads. Slip roads. No, not a great slip road, just give me a slip road. That's the wrong way I want from there. There, there. Okay, it's a little steep, but it'll do me. So you're going that way, so come from back there. Out. That's a hideous kink. Ooh, that looks awful. Just come out from No, I think we'll put the grab go from right there and just stretch it out. So it's one nice long smooth arc. I'm getting one and off. Yes, 
thank you, that's what was nice and straight. So on and off in that direction. Major highway connection in first. And then we can worry. Can we put it off the bridge. Space already occupied by the bridge. I put around about far too close to the bridge. Well, that's fine. We just have this come out the other side. Spit before the bridge. Two bridges. Vaguely the same height. Works for me. So now you can get on and off that roundabout, going in every direction you want to go. So let's see if we can't just, I don't know, I wonder, can we just get that to come about in such a way that is vaguely rational? Hmm. Yes, we can. Done. Industrial road. So that's that nice long strip done all the way along there. And yes, I forgot to put the power back in. Don't worry, I um the game reminded me when it all started going horribly wrong. Alright, now we'll just dip you over like that. Now, yes, good. Power's back. So one thing we can start doing is looking at districts, district painting tool. And you continue paint the tourist trap. All the way along to about there ish. Grab low density commercial. And paint as we go. So now we have a substantial amount of extra tourist trapping capability. I thought I'd hit the distract. Oh, right up to there. Perfect. So we will see how much of an effect that has on our traffic. I'm going to probably carry on adding my little expensive dip roads in along here. Just to let people get the ability of turning around. And let's just double check. We've got a bus route. It doesn't get too far, grand. Let's uh, solve that one's problem by making sure it can get actually quite far along here. In fact, let's just have it use the roundabout. Quite a long bus route, I know, but I do want a nice... It's going to be a real scenic drive, that's for certain. You happen to be like that kind of long route. I think it just immediately taps up to the bus station. Round. Okay, so, having spent all that money on sorting this out, we should start seeing a fair bit of traffic. Now, I'm going to keep an eye on this, because there's a half decent chance that this will snarl up something awful, but I'm not underneath it. So, what, what we got? It's a huge demand for residential, which we had last time, but now it's, yeah, it's what you'd expect. Well, the other mod I put on was something called Auto Bulldoze. So, 
the reason you see things just vanishing before I really had any chance to get rid of them is because I've put a mod in that means they just get rid of themselves, still emptying. Hmm. Right, okay, that's that nice long drive done. Let's start talking about putting in our new district over here, which is going to include some canals. Yay! Let's put the canals in first. Canals. Ooh, terrain map. Shallow canal. Only a small amount of water. Stretch of shallows, Calvo. Not a long canal. Okay. Medium canal. <laughs> Medium canals are deeper than shallow canals, but shallower than deeper canals. Well, that's, uh, yeah. Okay, fair enough. So, basically, I just want to kind of create a, can a canal district. So, I don't quite know what the difference between these different types of canals is. So, let's just grab a shallow canal. And if I plow that into there, what do you actually get if I turn the canal thing off so we can see it? Okay, so it's a fixed depth, it's a fixed delta compared to the water level. Okay, but apparently, yeah, so it's a fixed delta compared to the water level. So you take the terrain height and then you drop down from there. So that canal is unfortunately not going to be water displaced. <laughs> yes. um, not going to be deep enough for what we want. However, or do we want to put canals over here? Or well, no, no, we still got this huge, great big beach area, which I think I might do something with, but we still got real problems with the terrain. In that, if I go back to the terrain, uh, the canal mold, you can just see how steep our coastline is. So while it's nice and beachy, it's kind of steep. So let's go back to where we were and let's grab a deep canal. And let's just. Mm, the slope is too steep. There, switch to an arc. I have no idea. No, no, we wanted to go back to straight, didn't we? No idea actually where the beach level is, so let's just plow it out to there and turn that off. Wow, that is deep. Watch the water flow, which is low in from both ends. And so this part of the map, according to the height is actually higher than this one. So the net water flow should just come round and go like this. So what we can do is string. Yes, I know, I'm having fun. Grow the city. Yes, I know. Just pause it a bit and let the water stop flowing. Here's <laughs> the waves kind of rattling through this. And let's just start hacking some more of this out and add more canals. That's the economy button, you idiot. It's actually really cheap. What's this? The remains of an old canal. Apparently the continued remains of an old canal. <laughs> wow, that is deep-sided. This is um, ultimately not going to be a place that I would call remotely safe for your children. So I think that's probably one of these things that's going to benefit more if you had a like, higher water level or if your water level was much, much closer because our water level is such that we've got an awful lot of beach. I don't know. Maybe we could have got away with a shallow canal, but it would just not nearly have been shallow enough over here. So let's go from here. Let's see. Go from here. To see. Yeah, I think that will do. So we'll let that fill and flood up with water. Let's take that on the, the slow speed. What else have we got here? Ooh, monuments and standing stones. Rock areas. Whoa, it's a rock area. These are trees. Lots of trees. 
That's terrain modeling. And that's time, ladies and gentlemen. Apparently, I spent so much time playing around with my canals and my roads and my roundabouts that I've not had enough chance to actually do any building from this. Soil availability. Okay, so it's apparently there's a limit to how much of this I can actually do. Level terrain, soften terrain, slope terrain. I mean, potentially I could use that to try and tidy this up, but I think that kind of thing. <laughs> so much of a tidal surge where the water's met, it's actually started to flood over the sides. Um, that will sort itself out in due time. These are going to be quite steep sided and quite dangerous canals until the water level works out where it wants to be. Let me bring up the um, pump network. Yeah, you, know, you can see the ridiculous of the, the changes in flows as it slowly sorts itself. Eventually, it'll all be flowing in here and going down this way, but uh, it'll let give it a little bit of time to sort out. So, in the next episode, ladies and gentlemen, we will be the Marmoset, that is me, and City Skylines of Animalia, looking at building in our new high-density residential area over here, where we will be essentially creating lots and lots and lots and lots of disconnected power grids. Yes, I do have a disconnected power grid. I have a separate power grid over here, just for my poop outlets. Everything else is on one grid. We also apparently have... That. Now let's just double check the power lines. No, power's getting all the where it needs to go. So I can actually save myself a little bit of cash. So, after that brief bit of demolition, I've been Mar the Marmoset. This has been City Skylines. This is Animalia. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe.